Now, it might seem like it's a long way away from us here in the Solent area, but today we're going to spend a few minutes talking about Bangladesh. It remains an incredibly poor country with limited access to health care for the poorest. But two men from our area want to change that. Joining me now are Robert and Dr Ali, who have founded a charity to provide free medical consultations in Bangladesh and eventually want to open a hospital there. Welcome, both of you. So my first question is why you wanted to get involved in Bangladesh? Bangladeshi healthcare? Well, um, you know, as you've pointed out already, Bangladesh is one of the poorest countries, if not the poorest country in Southeast Asia. Uh, my good friend here, Dr. Ali, is from the very specific area in the Northeast where there's a lot of very poor people there that can't afford any kind of health care. Um, and during the course of our getting to know each other, we've discovered that there's a huge problem, a huge problem with allergy awareness there. So that's why we decided to pick that area. And is that the same for you, Dr. Ali? Because I understand you've worked in Bangladesh as well. Oh, first of all, thank you very much. Uh, that's Solon TV. Uh, actually, there are two reasons behind it. Number one, there's, there is an, there is an, a, a life-saving need, but there is an inability to afford. So and another one is there is an urgent need, but the, the services are not available. The, for instance, there is a, there is a, there is a life-saving need uh, and there is an inability to effort. What does it mean? Because, you know, in Bangladesh, there are uh, 164 million people, and uh, according to Asian Development Bank statistics, uh, about 52 million people, that means 31.5% of the total population, live below the uh, national poverty line. That means they live of the earning of less than $2 a day, to be honest. No one can afford by this two dollar, either a junior doctor consultation or um, a course of uh, life-saving antibiotic medi medicine. And so, what is it that you you want to do with your charity then? What, so, what, what we would like to do? We would like to offer the free healthcare to the poorest people in Bangladesh. This is our one goal. Another goal is we would like to introduce the allergy awareness, diagnosis, treatment, and research facilities over there, which, which are not yet available in Bangladesh. So what would we would like to like? We would like to prove that a British pound can make a huge change to the disadvantaged people's lives. It can save lives and build a hospital. And uh, so you're starting off without a hospital. You're starting off with clinics run once a week. Tell me a bit about yeah, those and the how they'll help. The Friday clinic. Um, Friday uh, in a predominantly Muslim country is like Sunday is in England traditionally. Um, so it's a day off. Everybody closes down pretty much. Um, the, so we've decided to try and you know uh, operate on a Friday from uh, a, a one of our other trustees who lives there, um, who's given us his clinic um, for every every Friday, and we can you know, let the people know in that area that we were operating a facility, we will get doctors in uh, and medicines in to treat those people. So, so they get free access to see a doctor for free and then is the treatment free as well? Or? That, that depends on the availability of funds. <laughs> um, ultimately, yes. Ultimately, the, everything will be at no cost to the patient. Um, to begin with, we, you know, we will give a free consultation, which would save them a lot of money uh, and then uh, do the medicines at a very reduced rate um, after negotiations with various pharmaceutical companies there, you know, to get to get a good price. So uh, I can add on uh, to uh, Robert that our, our three phases, the first phase is, is a free consultations, and the second phase is free consultation in every Friday with medication, and the third and long-term goal is to build a UK standard hospital uh, with a specialist unit in allergy, asthma, and immunology. So I uh, earlier mentioned that uh, regarding allergy treatment, you know, according to World Allergy Organization, uh, about 64 million people suffer with uh, uh, allergic disorder in Bangladesh, and 50 just in Bangladesh, in Bangladesh, mm. and 50 percent of them are children. But if someone with allergic type one allergy in this country is diagnosed with skin peak testing or specific IgE in addition to uh, clinical uh, findings, two injections, it's life-saving injection, we call it life-saver in tubes, adrenaline or two injector are provided uh, with them uh, if accidentally or incidentally they're uh, exposed to this allergen, culpit allergen, they can push and then uh, it can save the life. But in Bangladesh, there's Populations and professionals, they do not know what is a denali neutral injector is. So how important is uh, introducing the allergy awareness, 
diagnosis, treatment in Bangladesh. So what we would like to uh, uh, tell, uh, we would like to tell the world, to the generous, generous people come forward to save their lives. And um, you've got a launch event going on in Portsmouth as well, I understand. Tell me a bit about that. Yes, that's um, happening on the 21st of January this month. Um, at the banqueting suite at the, at the uh, Guild Hall in Portsmouth, which you know, we've been kindly um, given that by the Lord Mayor of Portsmouth. He's very supportive of, um, of this uh, you know, program and he'd like to help us. So um, the launch there is to let the wider audience know that you know, the One Pound Hospital exists um, and they're going to come along and you know, there will be various uh, speakers there. Uh, and there'll be a couple of videos that we've produced um, that they're going to watch, um, and a general discussion about the aims and objectives of the charity, and everybody gets a free lunch. Um, so uh, that's, that's going to be on the 21st. If anybody would like to attend that event, by the way, um, if they would contact us, and perhaps you can provide our contact details, um, then we, you know, we, we will happily welcome anyone along. Yeah. And uh, you know, uh, in its short existence, this charity has been able to touch thousands of people's hearts. And on this list, you will be delighted to know that there are some incredible individuals. So for instance, Baroness Finlay, she's a member of House of Lord, a Bangladeshi-born British diplomat, uh, currently UK ambassador to, the, to Peru, Mr. Anwar Chudri, Lord Mayor of Portsmouth, Fleek Drummond, MP, Portsmouth, Professor Jonathan Brustoff, uh, uh, he's the um, allergy, uh, uh, founder of Allergy Foundation in the UK. Uh, in Bangladesh, uh, there are some other people as well uh, who are uh, uh, such an incredible individual. For instance, the former director of um, uh, disease control, Professor Muajjem, uh, the recently re retired um, additional secretary, cabinet division, uh, Bangladesh secretary, Mr. Moiduddin. So all of these incredible individuals have placed the support. So actually, we would like to thanks uh, to uh, the Queen's representative in Hampshire as well, uh, uh, Lord Lieutenant uh, Nigel Atkinson. Uh, Atkinson, he has pledged his support too. So this is something we are um, actually we are very pleased and we are excited uh, uh, seeing the support from the various people from various corners, and uh, so we would like the support from every corner too. Yes, absolutely. Well, we certainly wish you the best of luck with the project. Thank, thank you both you. very much for coming in and telling us about it. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, uh, that's all on TV and you as well. You're welcome.